Uh, my name is Mario Kelly, like you said. I'm the owner of Believe 313 Staffing and Believe 313 Cleaning. Uh, we do stadium. We specialize in stadium cleaning in Detroit. So we clean Ford stadium Field. Stadium cleaning. Yeah, football, baseball. Uh -huh. Basketball, hockey, professional leagues, Tigers, Lions, Bear, I mean, uh, uh, Pistons. Uh, then we also have grown the company to Houston, uh, where we clean NRG Stadium. He has a staffing company and he has a cleaning company. And he started it, I think, for $27. $27. Yeah, that's a cleaning job. I think that was the word. I was like, yo, Shy, he started with $27. You're like, yo, we gotta get him on the show? Yeah. Love is for all my folks, Go do your boss Loving how you go, babe. It's for all my dreamers and my doers and all the entrepreneurs. Just believe in what you're doing and pursuing them. It's for all my folks, babe. Go do your boss, Boss fam, really quick, you have got to start automating your sales process. I know you love your cleaning business, this is your baby, but you can't do everything. You're trying to run a business here. So automate your sales process so that you can have more time to close deals and grow your cleaning business. That's what you're supposed to be doing. You're the CEO, you're the owner. So you are responsible for growing the business, not doing all those small day-to-day -day tasks. And if you don't know how to automate your sales process, I have a guide. So go in the link in the description and download the guide. That way you can start automating the sales process and start growing your business and working on your business instead of in it. Love you guys, keep that boss mentality. Peace. Every now and then in this industry, you meet someone and you can immediately tell they're cut from the exact same cloth you are. I met Mario Kelly at the CBN conference and we immediately hit it off. This man is a wealth of knowledge, has had tremendous success, and I am truly honored to call him my good friend. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Take notes. Mario, what up though? Hey Mario, why you send that lady out there in that water to get that crab, man? <laughs> Everybody, you sent the lady out there to go get the crab, man. You got the crab on the plate. It was in the water like 20 seconds ago. <laughs> Fresh out from here. Oh, yes. We got Detroit in the building. Yeah, we brought the sun with us. You already know what time it is, man. Believe 313 staff in Seattle, man. What's up? Tune over, look out, man. Hey, what's up, boss fam? You already know what time it is. DJ the boss back with another video, but uh, I'm trying to get you know some good content and bring you guys some good people. And uh, we got some legends around us, man. Standing right behind me, you see Mr. Eric Coffee in the back. Uh, we got Believe 313 staffing right off to the side. I'm hoping to get him on camera real quick. Can we get you on here? Yeah, there we go. What's man. the word? What's the word? What up, though, as we say in Detroit? Yeah, this is my guy. For the small few of you guys who don't know, man, it's Mario Kelly, Believe 313 staffing. A, a legend in this industry, man. It's already he made me some money with the, with the knowledge that he spits and the gems that he's given out, man. This is an incredible dude, man. Tell a little bit of the people a little bit about what you do and what area you do it in. Uh, my name is Mario Kelly, like you said. I'm the owner of Believe 313 Staffing and Believe 313 Cleaning. Uh, we do stadium. We specialize in stadium cleaning in Detroit. So we clean Ford stadium Field. Stadium cleaning. Yeah, football, baseball, Not basketball, it. hockey, professional leagues, Tigers, Lions, Bear, I mean, uh, uh, Pistons. Man. Uh, then we also have grown the company to Houston, uh, where we clean NRG Stadium. Nice, um, nice, nice. But what I want to talk about... I say, you, you, know, did it, you did it a little bit differently. I mic'd up already, so you, but you did it a little bit differently. So most of us own cleaning companies, you know, and what I didn't know is most, most of the big, huge ones started off as staffing companies, right? And so, and that's the approach that you take to this to this industry, right? Yes, and yes. Tell us a little bit about that and how, that, how that's working for you. So, um, like I met him had discussed a few weeks ago, is that all cleaning companies, I'm sorry, all staffing companies start off as cleaning companies. Companies. Yeah. Um, so we may have smaller accounts when we start off, but when we get to these bigger accounts and different things like that, when they need 10 people, 15 people here, you know, you're really a staffing agency. So if you have a cleaning company, I want you to start doing research on staffing, on markup, on recruiting, on margin, different things like that, because at the end of the day, people are going to start contacting your company for labor and we're in the game of labor, so okay. learn Absolutely. about staffing. How do you feel about the conference so far? Oh, I mean, I love this. I love that we can come together as a family. You know, the cleaning community is actually, to me, the number one community in the oh, world. Absolutely. You know, because everything has to be clean at some point. Yeah, it's not even close. Not even close. <laughs> it's not even close. You know, not even close. You know, the world closed down. We still had to clean it. Because, because, we, had because, because we, we had to clean, clean it. it. Yes, exactly. because we had to clean it. So, you know, it's never shut down because it was a bankruptcy or anything like yeah, that. Yeah. When it comes to health and cleanliness, you know, we control the world, man. Exactly. You know, so exactly. I'm loving this conference here, man. There's a lot of people here from seven figures to six figures to just starting. You know, and I tell there's anybody. A, there's a couple eight-figure guys in here, too. Oh, yes. Yeah, eight-figure. We got uh, Eric Coffee in here. Yeah, yeah. 
So uh, on the federal side, uh, federal contract side, so. Peter's about 20 million, I think, I said. Peter, oh, Peter. Uh, Peter from yesterday, the guy who spoke. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. One one janitorial, yeah, from Canada, yeah. From okay. Canada, Those yes. Those guys are huge. I, I seen him yesterday. Yeah, uh, yeah so man, it, what, I'm, what do I do want to say is, if you are a cleaning company and you're anywhere in the United States and you're watching this, get in the room. Yeah, yeah. Get in the room. I, can, I always tell people, put the roast in the oven. There we go. And, if you think it's done, pull it out. If it's not, put some more salt on it, put it back in the oven. But yeah. just get in. You want to be room. on fire, you got to be where the heat at. Most you definitely. You got to go where the heat at. I mean, we just had, like, we just sitting in a, in a circle powwow, you know, can't, you know with, that, <laughs> with our coffee, yeah. you know, dropping gems, you know, legend speak. Man, it's, it's been crazy. It's been, it's been incredible. I specialize in coaching and consulting for new and aspiring commercial cleaning business owners just like you. He helped me get this whole process started. I talked to that man for less than 30 minutes. It was a great move for me to make. I ain't, I ain't have a lot of money or nothing, but he gave me the steps I need to take to do it. My goal is to equip you with the tools and the knowledge you need to thrive in this competitive industry. And all I can say is that the value that was given to us in that one hour was well worth what we paid for, in my opinion. DJ's consultation is 100% worth it. I come up with a custom plan for you and your business. The information he provided was invaluable, man. He provided so much value. We really love how this information was tailored to our specific needs. Best practices, marketing strategies, and industry secrets, and anything else you need to get ahead. Uh, we feel a, a big shift in our business. I just closed two clients. I just closed two clients. You're also going to save a lot of money by avoiding costly mistakes by learning from someone who's experienced and who's done exactly what you're trying to do. I highly recommend DJ The Boss. I definitely recommend a consultation with DJ The Boss to anybody with the cleaning service. I definitely would recommend you to DJ Services. I appreciate you, DJ The Boss. Shout out to you, DJ The Boss. Book a one-on-one -on -one session with me and we can help get your business to the next level.